Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Doug and uh, I'm going to show you guys shortcuts in Photoshop CS6, just the ones that I use on an everyday basis every time I get on to Photoshop. It'll save you a lot of time and if you learn this quickly, then you won't stress as much in the future. Uh, starting off, I'm just going to say that if I say the word command, I'm on a Mac, so that actually means control for you PC users, so don't get confused please. Um, so the first thing I want to show you is um, if I hit command plus, it zooms in and then command minus it zooms out. So let's say I hit command plus and I'm zoomed in all the way and I want to look at details. All I have to do is hold on the space bar and this hand uh, shows up which allows me to you know look around the image. So if you hold down the space bar then you can you know look around. And then the next thing that you're going to want to know is let's say you're in this situation and you just wanted to fit the screen. All you have to do is hit command zero um, and then it fits the screen. Now, one of the things that I want to show you guys that you guys probably have known for years is uh, there's basic stuff that you could use in like um, what's Microsoft Word has the same commands. So like command A would be select all and then command C would be copy and command V would be paste. So I copy and pasted this white image. Um, so and there's whatever. And now let's say I want to remove that. All I have to do is be on that layer. Command A to select it again, and Command X to delete it. Now, let's say I go over here and I grab this brush tool, which would be B, but I wasn't trying to show all the commands for that yet. That's in another video that I'm going to do. But let's say I am going to draw all over this picture, and uh, all you have to do to go back from that if you don't want that there is hit Control or Command Z, and it backspaces it. It undoes it. Now, let's say I make multiple lines, and Command or Control Z only goes back once, and it brings it back. Well, you know, you want to go further than that. So all you have to do is hit Command Option Z or Control Option Z, and it goes back more than once. And I have a video in the description that shows um, how you can go further than what it allows you to do. I think the pre, like it comes with the program set to like 20, so you can only go back 20 steps if you're on a, like a huge project and you mess up, you have to start all over. So instead of that, I have a link in the description. It teaches you how to go back further than that. I have it set to 500, so I never have to do that ever again. Now uh, there's a few other shortcuts that I wanted to show. The first thing would be uh, just the F key, not command or control F, just F. And what that does is it changes the way the screen looks. So I'll show that right now. Here's F. And then if you hit F again, it does this. Now this is good because then you can do fine editing without all the stuff around the outsides bugging you. So let's go command zero to fit that back to screen. Hit F again and it goes back to normal. Um, another one is tab. And the only reason why I want to show you this one is because I've been in a situation where I like lose all the sides and I don't know how to get it back. Well, what it is, if you just hit the tab key, it uh, hides everything. So if you like, I don't know, put an elbow on it or something or your cat jumps on your keyboard and you don't know what the hell you're doing, you don't have to restart. Just try checking the uh, tab key so it pops right back up. And then uh, something that I wasn't going to do, but now I really want to because I'm... Um, the rulers um, in Photoshop really helped me out a lot. And that's one of the uh, shortcuts that I wanted to show you guys because it's you know something that I like using. If you hit Command R, these rulers pop up and you know rulers are good for if you're looking to get like um, very, very clean, let's see, let me move this back. Very clean edges and perfect angles and stuff. So right there, let's see, I can do this again and this and then I can just go over here and it snaps onto the rulers. So if you've never used rulers before, go ahead and try that out. Um, but I will be making a video showing what all the uh, tools do and the shortcuts to actually get into the tool. So if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like and feedback if you um, are bored like I am. Um, and we'll talk it up and I can make more tutorials for you. Uh, this is Doug and thank you guys for watching.